Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for today's VAL meeting. This is Thursday, 27th of February, and uh, remember we're on the straight course, so um, the draws don't have that much to concern you. And it looks like a card where Mike de Kock and Callum Murray are the key to the card. So let's start off with uh, race one, which is the work riders uh, maiden plate, 2,000 metres. And um, there's a four-corner contest. Ever fair, Joey Somers, uh, horse, I like this one a lot, ridden by um, Goodman, my brother. And um, I think this will win. Uh, of the rest of them, Miss Cap Mahler, Paul Matches, run against Daniel Bass, has got a very good chance, got good form as well, and certainly looks like it's come well over this type of distance although um, has taken a long time to get close. Adorable Ali is uh, the, the right horse in the race, improved very much last time while mowing. He's got a couple of good runners today. And Bordeaux Beauty definitely comes into the race with Vaquera. Uh, Vaquera has been very disappointing, but uh, maybe will improve here. Race two, maiden plate fillies and mares. Uh, Ricabi, my top choice from the Mike de Cox stable. Uh, I think this will win a little rain. Warren Kennedy's got a big chance, run two good seconds. St. Joseph Lilly got a chance. Samoa's got a chance, but I'm going Rokabi strong. And I'm going to kick off with uh, race three with Mike de Kock again, Aquan. I think this is the right horse. Uh, this is a maiden plate, 1,400 meters. Uh, this horse costs a lot of money as a yearling. He's by it's, I'm Invincible, who's a champion sire in Australia. And I think he's better than his form shows. Um, Bravo 1, got to have a chance, Epigalia, we rode this last time, we said put the blinkers on, unfortunately they split the race and we missed the ride, um, but I think he's got a huge chance, Epigalia, and he'll definitely be there. They are the three that will fight it out. Um, if you want one for your uh, quartets, put in Quattro Passi number 15, remember I found this last time and he still didn't run too bad a race, he will be a big improver. Race uh, 4, first leg of the pick 6. Um, this is an absolute three-corner place. Contest is made and played over 1,400. Crank it up from the Fenfuren stable, comes back and trip. That's always a concern. Curious, got very good form. This horse, have a very close look at him. He will run well here and certainly looks like he's improved with the blinkers. And Trend Master has been fancied on a number of occasions. Goes into all your play. Race five, maiden plate, fillies and mares. Uh, they go 1,600 metres. And I make this a three-corner contest. Um, one rock you uh, from the Lucky Ulaka stable comes back from a rest. Is he good enough? Uh, Curvation, uh, Wire Mowings, Raymond Danielson, two very good runs, last two starts. Got to have a big chance here. Firefly won a maiden very easily. Mike the Cox runner. You just don't know how good it is. Then a couple of others that you want to put in if you're looking for is a 101 to number two, Anna Tura number three, and Lady Shamrock, number four, all come into the play, as well as Ocean Forest, who's run two very good races. Right, race six, um, and there's 2,400 meter middle stakes. I'll make it a one horse race. Um, before noon looks to be the right horse. I think that he'll win it. The big danger, if he goes the trip, is Mr. Greenlight from the Mike DeCock stable. So I'm putting in the two. I might chuck in major return as well, because I think he's got the ability. So I do like his chances. Race seven. Uh, this is a graduation plate, 1,400 meters, and you cannot look further than Ile de France. I think Ile de France is the right horse. Um, I think 11 to 10 is a good price about it, and I think it's worth having a strike on. What about the rest? Well, Rock the Blow comes back from a bit of a break, and he might be good enough, but I don't know if he can give three kilos to Ile de France. Race eight, Mary rated 80, 1,400 meters, and um, I like Sean Terry's run a box car here. Really try to get this right. I think that this horse held up has got to have a big, big chance. The track might not suit him. And if that's the case, well, what else is there? Golden Man might be a big improver. Pop Icon, certainly worth putting in. Anything could win it if Boxcar doesn't win it. But Golden Man might be the big danger. Race 9, Phillies and Mares, 1,400 metres. And there's a very tough race to finish off with. We've been riding encryption. We've told them to go a bit further. They have. They've put Kamalo on it and obviously got to have a very big chance. West Wing Belt appears straight on it. We rode that last time and we said that this would be the right race for it. Stratum got the ride and we think that this has got a big chance too. Golden Spiral run two good races on the, at the Vol and Oceana from the Diane Stenger stable. She holds a good key here. She's got to have big, big chances 
in a race like this. All in all, very nice race meeting at the Vol. Hope you enjoy yourself and get the money.